This quick tip video will highlight interactive routing and group trace tuning. To get started, we're going to select a group of nets. To simplify this process, we'll activate the Net Explorer. From here, you can see we have groups of nets. We simply select one of those groups, go up to the toolbar for the window, and click Mark Nets. You will then see in the PCB only those nets that we've marked will be displayed. I can then select those nets, simply draw a line where I want those traces to be placed, and tell it to sketch route and the auto router will come up and route all the traces for us the best it can. In this case here, you'll see it left out one of them because it didn't quite know how to handle that one because it was in a location where it had to wrap itself around. So what we'll do is we'll just use the interactive routing function and we'll throw that one in real quick. All right, next, I know all of these traces need to be tuned. So before we go off and do that, uh, let's take a look at some of the tuning options that are available. So again, in our editor control, on routing, we can click on tuning, and this helps us determine what the tromboning looks like, if it's a random pattern, sequential pattern. Uh, you'll see we can also do some sawtooth matching for differential pairs, or as a pair of nets uh, that need to be matched within a group as well. I'm not gonna change any parameters here because I'm happy with what I've got, but if you need to, you can set uh, this information up beforehand before you go off and tune those nets. So next I'm going to select those nets. I'm going to spread them out a little bit because when I use the sketch routing feature, there's two options you can choose. You can choose what's called pack where it tries to route them all together, or you can use unpacked where it spreads them out. In this case, I'm going to select them. I'm going to use the gloss feature to spread them out for me a little bit. With them still selected, I'm going to choose tune routes. This is automatically going to tune all of the nets that I've just routed. After the tuning is done, to verify that everything was length matched appropriately, I can open up the target length dialog box. I can then select on one of the nets and all the other nets that are within that group, in other words, the match group that I created in CES, will show up and it will tell me if they're tuned or not. In this case, all of them tuned appropriately. We'll then click on the differential pair clock and see that it matched along with its control line. Thank you.